Rear axle alignment, gauging. After the truck is in position and the rear axle aligner equipment is mounted on the truck, it's time to enter the parameters into the tandem parameters screen in wind speed. In this demonstration, we are gauging a truck with two tandem axles. Target separation is the distance from the laser to the front target. To get this measurement, simply attach a tape measure to the laser tube and walk it to the front of the truck. Enter the distance to the nearest foot. Mount width is the distance between where the suspension mounts to the chassis on the axle being aligned. On this truck, we measure from the center of the opposite spring to the center of the nearest spring. Enter this distance to the nearest inch. The measurement type option allows you to choose between tandem and tram. In this demonstration, we will perform a tram type measurement. Click Continue. At this point, go to the rear of the truck and turn on the laser. Slide the tube left or right on the cradles until the laser goes through the vertical slot on the rear target. Now, using the vertical alignment knob on the laser tube, aim the laser so that it hits the front target. A red light will illuminate on the front target indicating the laser position is being recorded. Now that the position of the laser is being measured, notice the measurement in the target value box. The distance listed on the target value box is the actual distance the laser is from pointing to dead center on the front target. A negative number indicates the laser is aimed to the left of center, and a positive number indicates it is aimed to the right of center. In this case, the laser is negative one half inch or left from center. To bring the axle value to zero, an adjustment must be made to the axle. Now notice the axle error value box. This value indicates the distance the axle must be moved to bring the number in the target value box to zero. In this case, our technician needs to use a 3 32nd inch shim to move the rearmost axle so the laser is pointing at the center of the front target. This correction will bring the value in the target value box from negative one half to zero. To learn more about making adjustments to the axle, please enroll in our Beeline Alignment Training Course.